one day, the sun will finally set. And one day, the sun will also rise again. Destiny released in 2014 has been a wild ride for all of us. All things considered, it was a good time. All good things must come to an end, though, sadly. What does the future hold? I can't tell you. Saying goodbye is always as sad as saying goodbye. It's almost as sad as saying goodbye to someone you love. You spent so much time with the game, and now you must leave it to go on to see things that are brighter and possibly better. The raids you completed, the grinding you went to get to that one piece of loot that you needed to complete the set. One of my favorite memories was with the Crota's End. It was in the middle of the night and we were getting our ass beat. We were losing to the Death Singer and we came and beat her. Then after a bathroom break we all started to talk about who we were, what we did outside of being a guardian. This dude came and told us a story about how he met this famous retired Houston, Texas player. I think it was a lineman, I can't remember. We all sat around him and listened, forgetting where we were and how we were about to face a wizard that could kill us with her voice and a god of all the, at all the same night. Finally, we got up and lined up. Three on left, three on right, and we took down that wizard. And later that night, we took down Crota. Then there was the Vault of Glass. I was lucky to see to even have a fire team that night. I can still remember the frustration and anger of the internet dying on me that time. There was one guy that wanted to get the Vex Middle Glass. And he would tell us how every time he would never get it, and his brother got it, and always bragged about him. So then when we beat Atheon, I actually got it. First try too, <laughs> isn't that lucky? We went to the tower and I bragged about amazing loot that I had. The character looks magnificent. People added to me, added me on their friends list saying I was a trooper that night, and then that one guy kicked me off of the fire team because I was be bragging about it. It's actually kind of funny. I was told I could tell you about the great battles centuries ago, how I fought in the Black Garden and killed the Black Heart, or I survived the metas of old, how many fallen vex ball and taken I killed to get to their bosses and in fact killed them too. How we guardians lost our voice and our stories. There are many tales told throughout the city to frighten children. Lately those tales have stopped. Now the children are frightened anyways for the things to come. I tell you this not to frighten you. As a veteran I've seen things you could only imagine. There is something coming. Is it the darkness? Who knows? We might not survive it this time. We have to stay sharp. Own your skills out in the crucible. Explore the world and the new places that it holds. Or let the vanguard choose where you go. Will you fight, fight here? Will you fight for the puppies? It's your choice. What will I do? Eh, I'll keep to myself. I prefer to be alone out there anyways. That's what we hunters do, after all. You can call me if you need me. Anyways, I'll always be there. <laughs> the future will be a dark one for us. Better prepare. Anyways, enough of my rambling. You have so much to explore with so little time. Mysteries pop up out there, and like weeds in the lawn. Enjoy yourself. Listen to Kate sometimes if you're boring. 
He had me climb this golden age tower once to get this stealth drive for him that he stashed away long ago when he wasn't a vanguard member. Keep your head up out there. Watch your step. It's gonna be a trip. I'm gonna miss you, Destiny 1. And I hope Destiny 2 will love up, live up to your legacy. And maybe... Who makes a few more tales of our own? Explore the new worlds. As a veteran player, I'm gonna miss this place. Tower. The exotics. All the loot that I lost. Man. I'm gonna miss this place.